Okay guys, hey, welcome back to another episode of Schofield Welding. For everybody that knows, we have started a company, Impact Industrial Fabrication. We started it a few years ago. It has grown from me and my brother Jed to, we now have almost 30 plus guys with us. It's grown substantially. We have a CWI group. We have, as far as like a full inspection group, we have some of the greatest welders you guy could ask for, fitters, labor hands. We're getting into other industries now in order to be more diverse. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today is if you ever wanted to work with us, these are some of the things that we require from a person that wants to work with us. Honesty is number one. If you cannot do something or you don't know how to do something, say it. We'd rather have somebody that has the experience to go in there and do it and show you how to do it. Integrity. If you messed up, come tell us, okay, it's fine. Don't do it too much. We are there to learn, we're there to help, we're there to teach, we're there to build, right? Number three, a work ethic. There's a famous saying, I believe it was on the Cowboys, the old Western, full day's pay, or a full day's work for a full day's pay. And that's what it is, that's what we require. Sitting around, hiding, doing things like that is a no-go for us, we don't do that. If you're waiting on us to get you something to do, that's a whole nother deal, right? But if I'm waiting on you and you're off hiding, I'll find you and run you off so fast, you won't know what to do with you. And I'll help you get your box in the back of your truck. Our company and the guys that work with us are some of the best. You will love the people you work with. They are A players. They're striving to be more than just welders, fitters, labor hands. They're striving to grow themselves. And that's one of the keys to this company is we want you to grow. We don't want you to be a labor hand forever. If you're a labor hand and you ain't growing and trying to get into a fitter helper or a welder helper or some other position to help you learn a trade, it's not gonna last very long, right? We will get somebody in your position that wants to grow to meet these expectations because we wanna grow too. And the only way we can grow is if you grow. Some of the guys we have working for us right now, it's been fantastic. Very interesting range dynamics in age. We have everybody from 18 to 60. When we have a job, we don't go out and hire somebody from a different company to come run a job for us. We hire the A players that are already on our crews that we are like, okay, he can run a job. He knows how to do it. He's been proving it for the last six months. We just need to get him with a couple guys. As the training process continues to grow, we will put two guys with you. And you say, okay, you're in charge of these two dudes. You need to make sure these guys are getting everything done. And not only is he growing because he's leading guys, but these two dudes need to be learning how to lead like he leads or like somebody else is leading or however, and learn how to branch off. And now these two dudes can handle two guys. And the guy that was training these two dudes is handling sick. And so that's why growing and, and trying to get better is, is huge. But our guys... We will pick, and it don't matter what age you are. We got some guys that are 23 years old. We got some guys that are 45 running crews. It just takes a certain personality, and we try to grow that in each one of our guys. That's kind of what we require as far as working with us. Really, we just want guys that want to work. We want guys that want to grow, and we want guys that sitting around on your thumb is uncomfortable and you don't love it. We want you to constantly be looking for the next thing. Because if we perform and we show these contractors and these generals and these primes, basically outperform their expectations, that's how we all stay fed. That's how we continue to grow. That's how we get the next job with those guys. It's all up to the people that are underneath us that are trying to get this thing built and done that help us to continue to get the jobs that we continue to get. Dan, at the beginning of this video, will put out an email, and this might even be at the beginning of the video. If you guys want to work with us and you meet the criteria that we expect, the thing about our crews is, is each person can get you run off, right? So we expect that you are working hard, as hard as these guys. You're matching pace with these guys because these guys are our family, and you're coming in and you're wanting to be a part of the family, right? That's what we're expecting. If you meet these criteria, I would love to have you with us. If you're a welder, you're gonna be required to take a test. There's two tests. There's gonna be your two inch super coupon, which is a downhill 6010 5P plus root, and then LH 7018 the rest of the way out. The other one is a carbon two inch super coupon, TIG all the way out, stainless wire purged. It's way cheaper than trying to find you a two inch super coupon stainless. Those are the two tests you'll be required to if you're gonna weld for us. Labor hands, we, we love a little bit of experience. If not, it's okay, you can grow the experience experience here. Experience matches pay. If you want to come in and work with us and you have no experience, you're going to be at a lower pay, but you have the ability to get higher pay as you progress. That's how, that's the way we work. 
which is the way the world should work because if this guy has more experience than you, he deserves more money. That's just the way it works. But if you outwork him, then you probably deserve more money. So anyways, one of the ways you're gonna get into contact with me is through our email. It's just impact at impact, I-N-D and F-A-B at gmail.com. Dan will put that up at the front so that you guys can screenshot it or however you're gonna get a hold of me. Send me a resume, okay? And I know I've talked about resumes. I've never actually turned in a resume, but as sitting in this position now, not being the welder, but being the guy that's running the company, I want to know what you can do before I dump a bunch of money in to you which your tests are gonna cost me $800. Regardless, if you pass it or break them or fail, or you decide that you passed them and then you decide you're not gonna come work for us, it costs me $800, sometimes more. I want to know who I'm testing. Give me a resume, give me something, give me some experience, give me pictures. I love freaking pictures. Everybody should know I love pictures. Got an Instagram with like 33,000 people on there, right? It means I take a lot of freaking pictures. But pictures of your welds, pictures of your work. Um, if you're a fitter, I want to know that you know how to fit. Somehow explain to me that you know how to fit. You know how to pull measurements. You know how to go over there and build a rolling offset, whatever it is. That way I know that you know what you're doing. And then send me an email with a phone number. Put your phone number at the bottom of it, please, so that I can actually contact you. I want to talk to you. As far as contacting me, go through the email. That way I just have a list of everybody that's on there and I'll just start running through them and calling and talking to you. It's not an interview, I'm just talking to you. I just wanna know who you are, what you're all about. I can usually tell pretty quick how green you are or how, how experienced you are. And then I can put you with a group of dudes that are better at what they do than you so that you can grow up to their potential or match your potential. One of the things is, is use the email. If you want to work with us, it's awesome that you put it in the comments and whatever, but don't put your phone numbers in there. I probably won't really go through the comments. I don't really read comments anymore. Dan does most of that for me because there's just too many and I'm off doing other things. I mean, it's been like three weeks since me and him have hooked up because I have been in airplanes on the road just trying to grow this thing. Use the email to get a hold of me and, and then I will call you as I'm traveling and getting to these other places. So anyways, everybody be blessed. We'll talk to you here in a bit. We look forward to possibly working with you and hope that everybody will turn in the resume. If you're a labor hand, fitter, welder, excavator, concrete guy, you know, wh whatever you are, I don't care what you are. Just give me some experience because we could move into an industry where we need your experience and your expertise. We'll talk to y'all in a bit. Be blessed. See ya.